There is a backlit component to our new durable textile line. The backlit component is our fabrics that pass our durability test. That is, they get a four or better on a dry crock test. And we list that in our little handouts as to what the durability test was. You know, was it a four, was it a five? And in this case, I have three new backlets that I want to let you know about because they have passed a very rigorous backlit scratch and abrasion and crocking test where they have a four or better on a dry crock test. The three I have are, first of all, there's a product by Pongs, and it is called the Printex Artist Mambo. And that's what I have here in my little booklet. And the Printex Artist Mambo is sold by Pongs. We also have a product by Ultraflex that is called the Vortex Mambo S170. Ultraflex Vortex Mambo S170. And that is new, and that is a new backlet. It is fantastic. And again, it is a durable latex backlet. And then the last one I have is here, which is what I'm standing next to, and that is the new HP Durable Latex Backlet Fabric. The HP Durable Latex Backlet Fabric is fantastic. The impression is excellent, the image quality is wonderful, the saturation is there, everything about this is great. And this is a, a light box. This was provided to us by um, Direct LED. It's a fantastic light box and we sew the silicon edge graphics systems into here and then put it into the light box. Um, this application is becoming very widely used all around the world. Uh, retail stores, uh, point of purchase, point of display, airports. I see these backlets, fabric backlets, absolutely every place. And Latex Technology at this time has three durables that we have on the market with our media partners. This particular backlet is uh, fantastic to look at. The quality is wonderful. There is one thing I need to let you know about backlet. We would love to be able to print and then sew the gaskets and then fold it up soft fold and put it into a bag. But at this time that is not advised for the backlit printing only. And the reason why is because backlit, even if it's durable, is still in every case a coated fabric. Uh, the fabrics have coatings on them and the coatings allow us to put the type of ink level and the saturation that we need to achieve the quality and the pop and the saturation, the rich black, absence of pinholing, all the things that are hallmarks of high quality backlit fabric printing. Well the trouble is when you soft fold it, there's always the possibility that you're going to get a crease in it. And because of the creasing and because of the nature of backlit, it's going to show that crease when you look at the image. And backlits on fabric, especially in these light boxes, have to be absolutely perfect. So what we're recommending is after printing, go ahead and fabricate it, sew the silicon edge graphics, however your backlit is being um, displayed, whatever uh, fabrication process you're using, and then roll it back onto a core, and then usually what I do is I wrap it in a little bubble wrap, and then I ship it as a core. So I actually leave it on the roll so that when I take it off, there's no chance of any creasing. And this is actually quite common for latex as well as uh, most sublimation when you're printing backlits. And it's because of the treatments or coatings that are on a lot of the fabrics that allow them to lend themselves to being a very high quality backlit. Latex is very good in this application. The saturation is there. There's no pinholing. We have exceptional resolution. It's 1200 DPI with a 12 picoliter drop. So resolution on backlit fabric, on fabric in general, is always going to be an extreme advantage to latex. This is a top quality backlit in every respect. We feel this competes at the very top tier of backlit fabric applications. And we have three on the market. The HP Durable Backlit Fabric, the Pong's uh, Printex Artist Mambo, and the Ultraflex Vortex Mambo S170. All of those are new durable latex backlits, and they are available either directly or through your channel partner.